Hey everyone, Doug here. I've got a product review video for you. This is the Blackmagic Design Mini Converter Optical Fiber 12G or 12 gig. This is a brand new product that was introduced at NAB just a couple months ago. Uh, I was finally able to get my hands on one and bring it in for a review. Uh, this product review was sponsored by the Patreon supporters of this channel. So the product was purchased with Patreon money. And when I complete the review, I will be selling it to take the, the funds from that and roll that into another product review in the future. So, All right, so this product actually replaces a couple of previous converters that Blackmagic offered. Uh, pull, those, pull those out here. So they had previously the mini converter optical fiber. It's supported anywhere from standard definition up through 3 gig SDI, uh, which basically means 10, 1080p at up to 50 or 60 frames per second. And then they had the mini converter optical fiber 4K. So this is the 4K version of this. Uh, 4K having a big asterisk on it, meaning only up to 30 frames per second. Uh, but it's been 6 gig SDI, basically what that means. So. Both of these products have been discontinued at this point, as far as I can tell. They're not, no longer listed on Blackmagic's website. Consequently, some of I'm seeing some of these guys pop up on eBay, and right now is a good time to nab one if 3 gig SDI is all you need. Now, uh, one cool thing that they did is they dropped pricing, at least if you're getting into uh, the 4K. So, in terms of pricing, the new product is $155. Uh, the old optical fiber was, I believe, 195, maybe 185, uh, and then the 4K version was 495, so quite a bit more expensive than than the 3 gig version. Um, and this version not only does 3 gig and, and 6 gig, but it also does 12 gig SDI. Now the one caveat on that is it dot does not include out of the box the SFP module. So let me disconnect this fiber cable here and show you what the SFP module actually is. So pull this out. So this unit does not actually come with this converter. And the reason they're doing that is they allow you to pick the converter, the, the SFP module that you actually need. So if you know you're only going to need 3 gig SDI, you get the 3 gig SDI version. If you know you need 6 gig, you get the 6 gig version. Uh, there are also alternative products out there that operate on other wavelengths. Uh, so different, basically different colors of light on the optical fiber cable. So this gives you the option of just getting whatever SFP module you happen to need. Now, Blackmagic does sell modules in 3 gig and, S S and 6 gig si uh, speeds. Um, the product prices on those, the 3 gig is $69 and the 6 gig is $149. So basically what that means is if you're getting into, si uh, sorry, sorry, into th uh, try to get this out, so into 3 gig SDI, uh, you're actually spending a little bit more money, so $155 for the converter box itself, and then another $69 for the SFP to put in it. Now, on the 4K side, it's quite a bit cheaper. $155 for the unit plus $149 for the SFP. That's a lot less than the $495 that you were into before in order to, in order to get this previous version of the product. So, a uh, quick tour around here. So, on the left side is the fiber conversion a fiber, fiber converter, the fiber input and output. Uh, so the output here is here. The input is on this side. You just snap in your LC style connector. Uh, I should mention that all of the Blackmagic fiber products use what's called single mode fiber. And I also use, as the type of connector is called LC. And then the polish on the end is UPC. So uh, the way to tell if you got the right one is you look for this blue color on the end of the cable. The color of the cable is usually yellow, but that's not a requirement. Uh, in this case, I've got blue, obviously. Uh, but normally, y you would find a blue connector on there, and that tells you that you've got the right type of fiber. All right, on the opposite end, we've got the SDI output, the SDI input, and the power connection. Now, this does conversion both directions simultaneously. So the SDI input goes to the fiber output, and the fiber input goes to the SDI output. And those signals can be different formats. You can send signals both directions at the same time. No problem there. 
Now, one thing that uh, Blackmagic has been doing a little bit differently on some of their newer products is they've been making these uh, more flexible on the input voltage. Previously, all their mini converters would only operate on 12 volts. These newer ones operate anywhere from 6 to 36 volts. And they still ship with the same 12 volt power supply, but if you're powering them with another power supply of your own, then you can, and now you can use anything from anywhere from 6 to 36 volts. Uh, so that's basically all the connections on the unit. There, there's no configuration dip switches. There's no USB port for firmware upgrades or anything like that. This is basically just a converter that goes both directions. Um, one of the things that they've upgraded on as compared to the old ones, or at least the 3 gig old version, uh, is it now supports, it does support 3 gig SDI uh, level A, whereas previous, well, previous one only supported B. The new one supports both level A and B. Uh, with a firmware upgrade, the 4K version previously did support both, but that did require the firmware update out of the box. It did not support both. And so, um, in terms of what I like and what I don't like about it, for the most, for the most part, I, I do like the product. It, it works exactly as advertised. It allows you to convert video signals to and from fiber, uh, just exactly like it's supposed to. It works well. Um, they do... I should mention that the fiber signals coming out of here are SMPTE compatible, so they do work with other manufacturers as long as you're able to adapt from the LC type. So some other manufacturers may use SC or ST or, or big SMPTE connectors, those, but they are signal compatible, so all you need is an adapt adapter cable in order to be able to talk to those devices. Um, and if I was designing this, I, w I may have done a couple of things a little bit differently. I may have actually had a couple more SDI connections on here. I have an SDI loop through output to take the input signal and allow you to chain it onto another device and then maybe a second SDI output but I do understand where they're coming from. They're trying to keep this small and inexpensive and so I understand why they didn't do that although quite a number of their other mini converters do include a loop through output and or a second output. I do find that quite a bit when I'm using these things that I do need to send to two different destination devices, say a monitor and a recorder or some other converter. So having a second output would be nice, although I totally get why they didn't do that. So, But uh, this does run a little cooler than the old ones, so I assume it draws a little less power, though I haven't measured that. Uh, but it just, kind of, it just works exactly as advertised. So um, as far as the little time that I've spent with it, uh, it, it it's worked exactly like it's supposed to, and it's been easy to use. And the the price I think is is quite acceptable for what the product is. So, uh, as mentioned though, if you know you're only get ever only going to ever need three gig SDI, you may consider picking up one of the older units before those are no longer available because they are cheaper than buying this unit and an SFP module for it. So, so yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, you guys have any questions about this or anything related to the video over fiber, I'll, I'll do my best to answer those questions in the comments. You can contact me through my website. A quick link to get there is djp.li, that's my link shortener, uh, slash contact, and that will go directly to the contact page. If you guys have any other questions or uh, suggestions or otherwise, please leave those down in the comment section below. But otherwise, I uh, do appreciate you, appreciate you watching. If you do want to help contribute to product reviews on this channel, uh, I encourage you to go sign up on Patreon. Uh, even uh, just a few dollars a month, it, it really does help out. Uh, all the money that I receive through Patreon goes towards product reviews and not towards uh, products for me or for my company. So uh, contributing directly to relevant content for this channel. So anyway, do thank you guys for watching and have a fantastic day.